Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to see a very useful and a very interesting tool that we can use for web automation, visual validation as well as desktop automation and it is a free tool and it is actually a browser extension that you can use on Chrome as well as on Firefox browsers and I will show you from very scratch step by step how to use it so I will go to my Chrome browser and go to the web store and here search for UI vision and here you will get an option UI vision can do for Chrome so this is the extension that we are going to use UI vision can do for Chrome and with this you can do web testing or automation you can see you can do visual validation and desktop automation as well and I will show you all these three so these are the three things you can do with UI vision can do for Chrome so I will add to Chrome and say add extension and here you can see it is added you can see the extension is added here and it will take you to the website of UI vision where you can see some documentation you can go through it and I will click on this icon for UI vision and it opens a window so this is the window this is the UI vision can to window and I will collapse this and here we can do a recording so I will click on this macro so you can see this is a very simple window you can see macros we record the macros we can run the macros we have this play macro button here and if I go to this drop down we can also play in loop where I can set the start value and the max value and play in loop and then we have some settings here so for now I will click on this create a new macro and I can name it anything I will say this is test1 and say confirm and here we have got and here I can add the steps so I have the option to record or I can manually add the steps as well I can give the command target and the value so for now let us do a recording and to see both the screens the browser screen and the can to record a screen I will split my screen here so this is my browser here and this is the recorder window so I will click on record and I will go to first some website uh, let's say I will go to orange HRM this is a demo website and I will click on record here and you can see it has started recording and now here I have got a username admin password admin123 I will add the username and you can see all the actions I am doing is getting recorded here and I will add the password and click on login and here now I will click on welcome admin I'll click on log out and they should log out from the application now I will stop the recording using this stop record button and now you can see wherever I'm going to any of the steps I can manually edit it I have got all these information here I can also click on this link to get more information about this command and I can also add it so I will add a new command here and I will say visual assert so we have visual assert visual search and visual verify I will select visual assert and you can also click on this link to get more info about this command it will take you to the documentation and here you can see all these commands and what does they mean so we have visual assert this is for when you use visual assert macro stops with error if no matching image found visual verify will show a warning and then we have visual search so you can check this for now I will use this command visual assert and now I will say select and when I say select you can see I can go to my browser and I can select some area so I will select this area and I can name it anything and I will say confirm you should keep this post fix this area you can see uh, this is dpi access and this underscore should be kept and here you can give any name so I'll keep it as it is and say confirm and now you can see this image is added here so I will I can play it back so if I play this 
we have a play macro button here I can save it and play macro and let us see what happens so it is logging in logs out and now it will check that area so you can see it is checking this area and it is if I see it is passed so everything is in green that means it is passed now just in case you change the resolution of your screen uh, let us say I will now change the resolution of my screen and now if I just go to this is my record screen and this is now my browser screen and I have changed the resolution what happens if I run this now so I will click on play macro and now let us see if it is able to visually assert the screen and now it should check the visual assert command and it is passed so you can see even if I change the resolution it is still working so this is how you can uh, do a UI testing and also do a visual assert now if you want to do a test on desktop you can go to this settings and then go to vision and here you have to select this desktop automation and for this you need to install the X mode so click here it will take you to this website to install the X modules and you can download it for Windows Mac as well as on Linux I will show you both for Windows and Mac for now I will download for Mac OS and once it is downloaded you can unzip it so you can go and just unzip this I will say extract and here is the folder you can go to your terminal this is on Mac I will show you on Windows as well and you can just go to the location of this folder so I'll just drag and drop it here and I will say CD this folder and hit enter and now you can say sh and there is a file called one install sh here you can see this is here you have to run this file sh one install sh and here you can see it says everything is done all done happy automation and now if you go back to your settings here and go to vision you can see now we have the desktop automation enabled you can select this and here you will find the desktop mode is active if you are on Windows so for Windows if I go here and go to the UI vision and here I will again click on this settings and go to vision and here I'll again say go to this link for X modules and here I will download for Windows now for Windows it is straightforward it installs it downloads an installer that you can directly install hitting on this exe file double click this and read and accept the agreement next next and I'll just install this here and this is done and here you can also see all the details of installation so when you go to this download of X modules if you scroll down you will see all these details how to install on Windows how to install on Mac OS and on Linux as well so now if I go to my UI vision can to and click on this settings and go to vision now we have desktop automation enabled I will enable this and here now I have desktop mode active so let me create a new macro here and I will name this as desktop test one and say confirm and here we do not have a record mode for desktop but we can use the commands here so I will click on add and then I will say X we have commands like X click X click relative X move X move relative X type and I will say X click here 
and again you can click on this link info for this command and you will get all the commands information here and also if you go to the UI vision you go to this website UI vision you can see this is the website so this is for visual desktop and browser automation web automation you can look at all these documentation this is for chrome and firefox and then it can do visual desktop automation visual web automation ui automation screen scraping web scraping all these documentation is here and if you go down you can see these links browser automation desktop web testing scraping and then we have a user manual here if you click on the user user manual uh, you will get all these user manuals and documentation so you can go to any of these if you want to learn about desktop automation you can go here and then look at all the commands so for now i will just go and say x click here and then i have to select a object so what i'm going to do is i will do a test on calculator so i will select calculator here and now i will say select here so it will record the screen so you can see it has recorded the screen and here i can select what i want to click on so let us say i want to click on this too i will select this and i will name it something and say confirm all right so it has come here also if you say find it will highlight it on this calculator window so let me try to show you this is our calculator here and here if i click find it shows this here so this is the area i want to select and then the next step will be let me expand the size of this window so that you can see all right so the next step is i will again say i will say another command and again i will say x click and i will again say select and we'll take the screenshot in three to five seconds and here i will click on this plus button so i'll select this plus here and i can name it something let us say plus confirm and then i'll save this and add another command I will again say X click and say select and here I will select this let us say 6 and say confirm and the step is added I will add another command and again I will go with X click and say select and this time I will select this equals button so that it gives us the addition result and I will say confirm and now I will save my macro so here we are clicking on this 2 
then we are clicking on this plus button then 6 and then equals button so let us try to play this macro so you can see it clicks on 2 and then plus and 6 and then equals uh, it was 22 because 2 was already there I think so let me try to play this again yes 2 plus and 6 and equals so this is working fine uh, let me show you I this is my calculator and now and this is my UI vision can to recorder I will say play and this is working fine so this is how you can use for desktop recording and I will also copy this docs link here in the notes so that you get all these notes in the references I will add this and I will also add the orange HRM demo site here so you can also look at this so this is a good tool you can use it for web visual and desktop automation I hope this was useful thank you for watching